Uh, this video is about chromatic warm-ups. It's a great exercise to do um, pretty much any time you play, whether it be uh, warming up before a gig, whether it be warming up before a session, whether it just be loosening your hands up uh, before you play around the house, whatever. It's pretty much what I like to compare it to like doing bicep curls to build up your arm strength. It's something that you could do on a daily basis. It's something that you do for hours on end if you have different variations. This is pretty much an exercise that will make you have more strength and more dexterity in your hand. It's an exercise I've done for over 20 years since I started playing, and it's something I do to this very day, so um, check it out. So for our first variation of the chromatic exercise, we're gonna be ascending up the neck using each one of our four fingers, something like this. So I use each one of my four fingers to cover each one of the four frets, creating basically a box, which you've probably heard guitar players mention, playing in the box, getting out of the box. It's something that you want to get you know, adjusted to as far as using each one of your four fingers to do these kind of exercises. So basically what I want um, to demonstrate is that you're going to go from the nut of the guitar, right here, all the way up to about the twelfth fret doing this exercise and I'm going to do it basically ascending and I want you to try to copy. I'm going to do it slow at first. Here you adjust up like that and go. And you just up. Just up. Just up. gone to A. In the interest of time, I'm just going to stop there. What's important also to notice is when you are doing this, you want to pick using strict alternate picking. And while this lesson is not about alternate picking, it's good to mention at least that as you're doing it, you're going down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, all downs and ups. This will make it sound a lot smoother, this will make it sound a lot more compact, and it will ultimately lead to more speed, which is something that every guitar player wants. So um, I'm gonna do the full exercise now at uh, a medium pace, at my own sort of like tempo. So let's do that now. That is the chromatic exercise, ascending up the neck. So for our next variation, what we're going to do is we're going to do the exact opposite of ascending. We're going to descend. So we're going to start up here again at the nut. Same alternate picking, no different except you're just using 
instead of going 1, 2, 3, 4, you're going 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1. Slowly it'll look like this. At that point, when you get there, you're just going to lead with your pinky as opposed to your first finger like the prior exercise. So it would be something like this. Shift up. Again, shift up with your pinky. Shift up. Shift up. And again, we stopped on A in the interest of time. So, as I did prior, let me do that descending chromatic exercise in my own speed. Descending chromatic exercise. So for our third variation of that, we are going to do um, a combination of the two, which I like to call mixed. You know, ascend, descend, ascend, descend, or do the exact opposite: descend, ascend, descend, and then something like that will basically look like this. So um, that is a great exercise because once you've gotten down ascending, you've gotten down descending, you start mixing together and you start using your fingers in maybe a more realistic way as it far as being when you play an actual song or whether you play a scale or what have you, a lot of times you have to sort of mix leading with your pinky or eventually ring finger and also your first finger. So it's something that with um, when you build up your dexterity, you want to start getting more comfortable as far as which finger you're leading with. You don't want to get stuck being like, I always have to use my first finger, or oh, hey, I always have to use my pinky. It's like that kind of limitations will, will screw you in the end. Um, so let me sort of freelance my way from, again, the nut of the guitar up to about the 12th fret, the octave, and um, do a mixed chromatic exercise. Thank you. 
visit brianmarshak.com. You can also find me on Facebook, Twitter, Reverb Nation, YouTube, a host of other sites if you search for Brian Marshak, Brian Marshak Music, for example, on SoundCloud. Um, check it out. Hope you enjoy it.